Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough and I'm head over to Ishihara's house to get information on what's going on and there's a lot of bookshelves. Oh boy. I'll try and get through them quick. Try and use super energy removal and all. Oh, okay, we know about these. They're powerful. We know they're powerful. Add them to your deck if you have them. <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. Use Aerodactyl's prehistoric power. Oh, I think I mentioned this before. Prevent all Pokemon evolution. But it also gives you a little extra tip here, I do believe. Yeah, at evolution spray to temporarily turn it back to a fossil so you can evolve your own Pokemon. Then plop Aerodactyl back and play again. There's a little combination attack. Pokemon has a weakness. Well, we know this. Double damage. And the resistance. We know that. We know that. <laughs> the name of Team GR is Team Great Rocket. Wait, there's a... There's a book on this? Hmm. This evil team think they can win if they make their own cards. In order to claim my stolen cards. Okay, it's his diary. Or his research. I'll have to write Team GR. <laughs> Team GR changes the standard rules for dueling too. They are the enemies of everyone who loves the Pokemon trading card game and must be defeated! Uh, game Center, uh, I'll get into this more later, but there's the ga Game Center on GR Island, exchange them for cards and coins, and uh, a, a, yeah, exclusive something there too, so yeah, definitely something worth exploring. So, different cards of the same Pokemon exist classified by Pokemon level. This is why I list Pokemon by level rather than set on the sidebars, because it's... It, it seems just more handy to do it that way than to list by set anyway, because oftentimes the Pokémon are reprinted in other sets, <laughs> so the only thing that really stays consistent is the level. So yeah, if you want to identify cards for the actual game game, just, just I would recommend doing it by level. And Pikachu can be level 5, 12, 30, 14, or 16, however may still only have up to 4 of this one Pokémon in a deck, well, of the same name. But that's part of the rulebook dealio. Alright, you can create powerful combos by creating or combining Amelia two cards. Or powers and. <laughs> excuse me. Pokemon powers and trainer cards are useful in creating combos. Find card combinations that will create your own powerful combos. Energy transfer. Oh, yeah, um, another thing. I, I think I mentioned this when I, when I got the Venusaur was that uh, uh, you can transfer energy cards of the grass variety from one grass to another to power up Venusaur, but also with Exeggutor. Uh, well, I may have mentioned this in the first walkthrough of the game. Uh, the more e grass energy cards Exeggutor has, the more you can use the big egg explosion and get yourself with more coin flips, so that can be quite powerful. Mux Toxic Gas, I, I shall this as well, blocks all Pokemon powers, but beware, it blocks your own. Oh, we know Rain Dance, we, <laughs> we say that, <not. laughs> I don't think we really have to show that off. <laughs> uh, it's a good idea to use Defending when attacking at self-destruct. That way you'll be able to give major damage to your opponent's active and bench Pokemon without your Pokemon getting knocked out. Unless you're like one of the Magnetons, because Magneton self-destruct does 20 more damage than your own Magneton's HP as a sort of defender preventer. Unless you have two defenders, but that's not quite as likely. Anyway, <laughs> Alakazam's damage swap moves, damage counters from... Uh, one, well, we showed this with... Uh, Aaron actually with with him doing the Chansey and I mentioned stuff like Scoop Up and Pokemon Center and stuff like that so yeah I think we are good to go in that regard so Ishihara good afternoon my name is Ishihara I love collecting rare Pokemon trading cards but you must excuse me for now is not the time please listen to the request of Miss Nikki at the Grass Club okay wait you got more. No. <laughs> uh, yes, my name is Nikki, the club master of the Grass Club. You fought Miss Brittany to learn of my whereabouts, right? Thank you very much, Mint. Because you could defeat Brittany. Surely you're trustworthy. Do, 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 do. Wait, wait. Team GR members could beat Brittany too. So you don't trust them if they. Okay, never mind. Please take this. It might be useful in fighting GR number two. Yeah, I got a new deck! Okay, let's take this as well. I got a grass core for defeating Brittany. Wait, wait, no. Hmm. She just gave it to us. It's a pity badge. A pity coin. <laughs> Alright. You're free to use it as you like in any future duels. Please do your best to save the grass club. 
please do your best. Please do your best. Please do your best. Okay. Uh, mm, 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 same dialogue. Okay, so since we got a new coin, select that card. Since we got a new deck, <laughs> select that deck. And we'll also give it a, a little rundown here. 15 grass, 11 water. Uh, you probably know all these cards if I recall correctly. Let's see here. Uh, da, ba, ba, da, ba, da. Yeah, pretty sure you know all of these. Energy removal. Now <laughs> I got some. If I want to dismantle this, I can put these in my main deck. Now that I got some extras. Uh, oh yeah, Professor Oak. Oh yeah, Defender. Oh yeah, Plus Power. Oh yeah, Bill. <laughs> and you can see the quantities here really quick. I'll just kind of scroll through them. Like so, just to kind of speed things along. Alright, we are good to go. So, Grass Club, huh? Grass Club. Go! And we're gonna... Oh, man! You were not here just to... Like, what? What, how? How did you... I did a full 360 around the fountain and... You weren't here! What the... How could... Well, whatever. Hey, hey! What? I can't seem to find that Blasted Club member, Nikki. Huh? You are! Ah! You're the kid that's fighting against Team GR, aren't you? And you are doing to advise Team GR must be punished! And then he asks, would you like to... <laughs> it's like, must be punished, and then... It's like, gives you an option. No. Well, leave me alone. I'm busy trying to find Mickey. And then, 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 then. Okay. Well, balance the surprise cards. Let's be it. Whoa! <laughs> GR number two deck. So his costume and everything is based off of colorless, as you can tell by the white, plus the star symbol on the mask and whatnot. Anyway, then the cards. Let's see what do we get. Uh, that's an iffy opening hand. <laughs> Well, I got Defender, though, so that might help. Let's see how things turn out. And there's always Bill and Professor Oak to draw into as well, so... It's not like I have as many cards as I prefer, you know, copy-wise, oh, great. Oh, wait. Oh, you don't have any energies! Really? Maybe this will be a better game than I thought. <laughs> It'll be slow to start out with, but yeah, no energy on his side. Oh, never mind. <laughs> now, the, now the attacks have begun. Uh, no paralysis. Um, if he does get another energy card, I'll then start using the Defender, I suppose. But for now, I think I am going to just continue headbutting. <laughs> and hopefully I get another basic Pokemon, because I got the energy for it anyway, and I, yeah. Just gonna hope that thing... Okay, he's just, just gonna keep binding. Okay, so paralysis happens. There's still four more turns to beat me, unless he gets more energy. Uh wow. <laughs> Nothing. This is kind of a dead start. Hopefully this won't end in defeat. And no, okay. And that means I can attack Ooh, Paris. There we go. There we go. And that's actually gonna be very useful against Onyx. Because of the double damage grassiness. I might actually switch to Paris on the next turn if I can, like if Seal isn't par uh, paralyzed or anything like that. So, yeah, that, that's, that's looking like a plan. Oh, another Seal, yes! Now nah, we're cooking. <laughs> uh, I also got Parasect here, but it has Spore for uh, automatic sleeping, but uh, I'm, I'm kinda. I kinda just wanna knock out that Onyx. Because the thing about it is that since he's low on the energy, I kind of want to technically energy removal him, if that makes sense. Because by keeping him down when he's not having the energy cards, that kind of puts him in a position where he can't do much of the sort. So, let's see if he gets anything. Grass energy. Okay, that, that's the Ekans, though. So maybe what he has is he has grass energy instead of the fighting and everything else requires the fighting. That's why he wasn't placing energy cards. Uh, in any case, I am evolving to Parasect now. And I'm gonna... Oops, I'm gonna do a little check over here. He's, I think he's preparing the Wrap Attack. So... I'm thinking I should Defender. Probably? Although, maybe not. Because, huh, I don't know. I'm, I probably should Defender, just to be safe, but... 
Well, you only live once. <laughs> Uh, let's just see what I get in my prize cars. Energy search. That could be handy for the future in case I'm having trouble picking stuff with pincer. Of a new variety there. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's not good. So it's got stare. Uh, you can pick anything you want, basically. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it's just so silly. Uh, I'll give a little rundown of that pincer here. Slicing throw. Heads does 10 additional damage. Iffy. And slash 30. Iffy. It's an iffy card overall. I I would definitely use Scyther over Pinsir. Or maybe even original Pinsir over this Pinsir for that extra HP in a way. Uh, anyway, Dark Arbok uh, does 10 damage on Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also stops that Pokemon power from working until the end of the opponent's next turn. So it could stop stuff like Dark Muck. I mean, excuse me, it could stop. Well, I, yeah, Dark Mock too, but I mean anything that has a Pokemon power, so say even Rain Dance Blastoise. So that's actually a pretty useful attack there. But it only does 10 damage per attack. And then there's Poison Vapor. It's the guaranteed poison, and it does 10 damage each your opponent's bench Pokemon as well. Uh, but hopefully, it's not gonna come to that. <laughs> Let's see what we can do though. Let's go ahead and. Goldeen. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't put Goldeen on the bench there right away, because I'm planning on evolving it. And... I, I could try to put it to sleep, but it could just wake up anyway. I just want to try and attack it and knock it out before it powers up all of it. Oh. I thought he was going to go over and... Oh. Really? He, oh, he, re he must really want that knockout on Seal. Okay, go ahead. Jeez, I, got, I got another one waiting in the wings. But yeah, I was, I was expecting him to Poison Vapor, because clearly Parasect is the biggest threat here, but that just could be an AI issue. Uh, I think we're in good position to win this game now, though. Uh, let's see what we got here. Eh, I, I, I think I still will hold off on the Defender. I don't think I really need the Defender right now. Parasect will only take a couple of, like, up to 20 damage, I think, from anything, so... We'll see how things go. Unless he has a double colorless, but I don't think he does. Otherwise, he would have probably put it on something else by now. <laughs> and he gets the additional 10. Big whoop. And... Let's see here. <clears throat> um... Mmm... Eh... Slash. <laughs> Might as well. He's not going to be able to use his Slash unless he's got the double colorless. I don't think he's got the double colorless. Well, he might do 20 again. No. Okay. So that means no matter what, Parasect is good to go on the next turn. Mm. Uh, you know what? Just first. Do that. And then kind of bait him out. Like, if he wants an energy removal or something, I don't know. <laughs> Before I, you actually use any sort of grass energy that I actually need on Bulbasaur. Uh, another Seeking, that's... Eh. I think we're good for the game now, actually. Oh, that Diglett is not going to work in his... Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's not gonna work in his favor, but... Okay, so Ekans... Gonna nip. Gonna bite. And we are gonna fight. By Bulbasauring... Ivy soaring, <laughs> slashing, and calling it a turn. But yeah, I, I, I figured, well, I don't, I don't think he's going to energy removal or anything. I don't even know if he has energy removal offhand. I don't have all the game's decks memorized. There's a lot of decks in this game. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of kind of hard to remember them all. I just remember traits of each deck, basically. Alright, I guess I'll go with the Seeking and swap out to the Ivysaur if I need to, but for now I'm just gonna waterfall and see how things go. Uh, cause Seeking is it's a pretty decent Pokemon at this point in the game, cause we're putting some pretty decent pressure. Yeah, that, that Diglett, he's not, not too happy with 30 HP Diglett versus 30 HP Waterfall, so yeah, I win as long as I use Waterfall and don't like misclick or anything like that. Uh, yeah, all these guys are Diglets. And... Uh, for the fun of it, the duo attack waterfall, no misclicks. Victory is mine after a shaky start. <laughs> Woo! Victory! No, no, I lost the match! 
So here's a boosted pack for you. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. Mr. Mime, neutral damage, don't apply a weakness and resistance for any attack. If you have that on your bench, you can kind of mess with the opponent's expectations of stuff. That means you could even splash it into any deck you want. If you just want to use the Pokemon power, you, you know, like you don't need the energy or anything like that. And juggling, flip four coins, ten damage on Lumberhead, so you'll average out twenty for that. Um, Tauros, that's eh, it's all right, I guess. Ish. I mean, it's, it's double colorless energy could power it up quickly, but it's just got kind of a low amount of HP for yeah. And the rampage is sort of like flail plus twenty. In a way, oh, another man. <laughs> yes, another nice Magmar, Dark Electrode, uh, Rolling Tackle, Energy Mom. Um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna take them attached any way you choose, but that's kind of kind of a detriment to attack, if you ask me. So I wouldn't play that particular Electrode if you ask me, unless you're planning on using this to power up other critters quicker in some sort of plan, like say, because it's easy to power up Dark Electrode for its Energy Bomb, which is two Lightning. And then if you're planning on setting up something as a surprise in the background, like a Zapdos or something like that, you could maybe put those energy cards there, but then you have to attach another energy card to Dark Electro to retreat it, so, so you have a Switch card. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure about that one. Um, Nanky, Mischief, Shuffle, the opponent's deck, kind of silly, but yet not if your opponent uses something like Pokedex to set their deck up to have the next couple of cards in their favor. Then Anger could do 20 more damage. Uh, you know that Rattata, I think. Or maybe you don't, actually. Uh, switch over your prize to the top of your deck. It's kind of... Yeah, it's like picking a prize card. <laughs> Except... Well, you don't, you still don't know which card is which. Like, what's on the top of your deck? I don't know, unless you use Pokedex. What's in your prize cards? I don't know, unless you use Team Rock. <laughs> so it's like, hmm... It has some combo potential, but it uses a lot of cards to use that combo. I mean, I guess it could be useful. Gnaw and Hyperfake may do absolutely nothing, so that might not be the best choice of Raticate, especially since it's only got 50 HP. It's got the all-powerful Flop Attack for this particular Magikarp, but actually what makes this Magikarp probably the more useful is the Rapid Evolution. Grab a Gyarados or Dark Gyarados, and you already got the energy cards for it then. Instantly and mag uh, Magnemite tackle magnetism 10 plus 10 for each so you just gotta have a lot of Magnemites to do a lot of damage Possibly <laughs> uh, So you could combine it with that other Magnemite that just keeps pulling out Magnemites from the deck Shuffle Abra out of your deck, discard all energy cards, so it's kind of like a save itself dealio and also the um, Psyshock dealio uh, heads, funny Pokemon is now paralyzed. <clears throat> paralyzed. And another Legend the Booster pack -ah! Oh, finally, an Arcanine to utilize our Growlithe with. Um, Arcanine's not too shabby of a critter. I mean, yeah, it uses a lot of energy for its attacks, but it does a lot of damage, and it's also got a lot of HP, so if you can power it up on the bench, it'll probably just sweep the opponent. Uh, you know, Seeking, you know, Sand Slash. Oh, here's the Farfetch I was talking about. Of Tails, this attack does nothing. But you could never use that attack again! <laughs> as long as it's in play. It's, it's also a very, very risk-reward attack. And then there's regular Pot Smash. I'm not sure I like Farfetch all that much of a card. 50 HP as well, so it's not gonna last all that long, unless it's got resistance to stuff. Um, extended series, Paris, Scratch, Scatter Scores, uh, Scatter Spores, not Scatter Scores. Uh, basically Pokemon name Paris, so it's another call for family, Delio, Nidoran, Variety, I think you've seen this during another battle. Triple coins, 10 damage times number of heads, you can search for the critters as well. Cowardice, maybe to return it to your hand, that could be sorta of, kinda of handy for early game stalls, is by switching between two tentacles. Soda Kindas, uh, Supersonic Confuse, and... Oh wait, you, are you seen that one before? Oh, here's the Execute starting... Our... Execute... Executor combo potential in the future, so we can get one of those Executors in the future, which we probably will, and that's all. Oh, I almost forgot! You get this Geocoin piece as well! Woohoo! What am I celebrating? <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, so that attaches to that first coin piece. Like so. We'll collect all four pieces of your coin out of free every at the airport! By the way, the sign's called Master Rick in our custody. If you want him back, you'll just look up with this urlin! <laughs> Maybe I'll see you on our island! I'm out of here! Team GR is supposed to come again! Alright. So, the Grass Club is saved. And you know what else we should do? We should save our game. Because there's something coming up at the moment we leave this room. So we're going to select our main deck here. And we're going to actually try out our... Growlithe and Arcanine combo. Take out the Ponyta. Maybe add the other Magmar. Um. Uh. Actually, that might be bad balance. Um. Well, actually, wait. Hold on. What if I go like knock those down a bit, but leave the Matchamp at two? I know it's not the staircase four three two, but that would save a little bit of room and still allow me to have multiple copies. Um. What about colorless? What about colorless? Um, let's drop the Meowth. <laughs> Sorry, Meowth. Alright, we're gonna save that. And no thanks. Actually, what I should do is save right now, because we have our deck configured. And now, after beating two Team GR members, when you pop out of here... Ronald! Oh, hey, I'm Mint! Wow! So you beat the members of Team... Two Team... Two, blah, 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 blah. So you beat two members of Team GR already! I wouldn't expect otherwise from my destined rival. Fortunately, I've been amassing lots of cards myself. I've got a full deck now. Let's have a duel! We'll use six surprise cards. If you win, I'll give you a rare card! This is why you save before battling him, because you want to win to get this rare card. It's a promo card. Alright! Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle! Draw, 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 time seven, and... Let's see what we get. Eh, well, they're gonna stall with Onyx, I guess. <laughs> and yes, 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 I know I could have dismantled the other decks, get more energy removal, and Professor Oak and Bill in my main deck, and stuff like that, but... I didn't feel like it. <laughs> I just kinda wanna get into this, because I, I have a feeling we're gonna do pretty well against this, let's put it that way. Um, well... Well, wait, wait, what? Oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> I was thinking to myself, I don't have anything to put on the bench, so I'll just end off my turn. Oh no! Wait, I could have attached an energy to Onyx and attack, of course. <laughs> oh, so stupid. Like, look, look at this! The, the, I, I seen I had it! I see. <laughs> oh, jeez. Maybe I shouldn't have had so much confidence in myself that this would go well. Anyway, he's only got the, uh... Uh, I was gonna say one Pokemon out there, but I'll evolve that. That that'll help a little bit. And confusion. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, by the way, if a Psychic Pokemon gets confused, it's kind of interesting because Psychic is weak against Psychic. So what'll happen is you'll actually cause double damage to yourself with the 20 damage that you take from the hitting yourself with confusion damage. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is switch out to Rattata, because Rattata has the free retreat cost, switch back to Onyx, because it has the energy, and... Oh yeah, that's right. I'm... 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 I'm dumb this game. <laughs> and I'll just keep attacking with the rock throw until I can power up someone else more powerful. Hopefully the confusion won't happen. Good, good. Very good. And, oh yes, 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 incoming Charizard! <laughs> I can't really do all that much damage right now, though. I mean, I could try and risk it with the Growlithe, but... Eh. 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 <laughs> eh, we're good with the confusion anyway. <laughs> yeah, they're really... The only... Holy moly. Yeah, the really only dangerous thing that's going on is the confusion, so... I think we are good to go in that regard. Ma 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 ma! Ma 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 ma! <laughs> um, Charizard is kind of a pricey card to use energy wise. So maybe I, I should stick with Charmeleon until I get more double colorless energy, but. I don't know, I kind of want to use the big lizard, you know? <laughs> it's like. 
It's like all I'm going with in this game is my guts. Not ma not making the best deck. I'm just going with my guts. <laughs> uh, maybe I won't evolve and just see how things go with Rock Throw. Uh, hopefully no tails. Ah, oh, poopers. Ah, oh, poopers. 20 damage. Yeah, that would be doubled if I was a psychic. I mean, if I was using a psychic Pokemon. So that could be a problem with against psychic decks. So you might want to pop potentially plop some full heals on some critters. And... Oh, really? <laughs> two heads in a row. I mean, two tails in a row. Excuse me. A 25% chance. I mean, I suppose each time it's 50% chance, but still. But still. Oh man, he's getting this stuff powered up. This could be devastating. Yes, it will. <laughs> Karate chop attack! Oh man. Oh man. Okay, it's looking like I'm gonna have to go Charizard it up. Uh, but yeah, the, the Machoke there. As long as I do a bunch of damage to it, it yeah, it'll, it, the Karate Chop is good, but the thing about it is that Submission, I kinda wanna, kinda wanna Charizard also, because um, it has, see, resistance to fighting as opposed to the others, and he's using other fighting Pokemon, so I could very well stall stuff, but the issue also is that he's also using water Pokemon, and Charizard is weak against water, so it's going to be kind of a back and forth dealio, but primarily I just want to knock out the Machoke before it'll do damage to stuff. Okay, Defender, that'll be useful. Um, let's just see how things turn out here via the Tentacruel. Eh, okay. We are good. Just need another energy to finish off that, although it's kind of a overpriced. <laughs> uh... Should I Super Energy Removals? No, maybe not. I can only use it on one Pokemon. I want to use the Super Energy Removal. So I can only take off two Energy Cards from a single Pokemon, rather than across his entire team. So, eh, we'll see how things go. Yeah, I think if I would have let that Machoke hang around, it would have been, uh... It would have been attacking quite ferociously with the submissions, so... Uh, oh, here we go. I guess I'll do that. Fire, fire... I don't know if I should attack though, because I could still lose out, but I kind of have to, I think. <laughs> oh man, oh man, <laughs> but yeah, you don't discard, um, like before you use the attack, you only discard if you use the attack, so, ooh, ooh, but yeah, the thing about it, the, the, the confusion is that I don't want to be causing damage to my 120 HP Charizard, I just kind of want to be sweeping smoothly. Uh, I got my champ hanging out, and should I? <laughs> should I? <laughs> I think I should! <laughs> Let's <laughs> get things nice and safe there, and we'll go for another fire spin. Hopefully it'll work this time, okay. And then I just need one more fire energy card to get the other bad boy out there. And yeah, that's kind of the disadvantage of Charizard, which is kind of kind of makes it iffy. Hello! <laughs> because it has the whole double discard thing going on. Ooh, a Chansey. So, uh, when your opponent swaps in something that's probably not worth attacking with Charizard with, it kind of just kind of, yeah, it feels like a total waste of energy cards. <laughs> and uh, well, that Chansey would be nice to attack Charizard, I mean, attack with Charizard regarding. Um, wait, I'm, I was just thinking, does Defender protect against confusion damage? I know it doesn't protect against poison, but... Huh. In any case, I can't attack right now, so... So, I'm thinking... I'll call it a turn. <laughs> so yeah, obviously I can't do anything anyway. I mean, I could try and switch with Charizard, which would potentially cost me energy cards upon the switch because you have to yellow <laughs> because you have to uh, discard energy cards to attempt the switch. Yeah, that confusion is really, really messing with Charizard here. Uh, so we definitely want to utilize that energy removal before we do anything else. I might as well attach the defender. Uh, no way to play that. Let's Professor Oak. Let's just get a fresh new hand. Get things going again. 
and see what else we could do. Bell definitely gonna use that right away before we make any other decisions. Uh, okay, stalling Magmar, very nice. Um, 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 um. I'm not really getting a lot of fighting critters this game, so maybe I'll just do that and abuse energy burn a little bit. And oh, right! The Pokemon power can't be used when Charizard's asleep gets used they're paralyzed. I'm an idiot! <laughs> Alright. So as long as if I switch out Charizard, I'll I'll be able to reuse that, so. Ah, big mistake! <laughs> oh, let's see what we can do here though. Maybe we'll be able to get off a of overpowered, overpriced fire spin. <laughs> Alright, there we go, and I'll get another prize card. At the very least, um, with the high HP, I can stall things out. That's that's a part of Charizard's strength, I guess you could say, is that it's got a lot of HP, so while it does take a lot of energy cards per attack, and that you'll basically be attacking once every two turns, unless you have double colorless or something like that, or you're powering up in the, in the background, but... Um, yeah, it's all that HP that allows Charizard to do its thing. And I really wonder if I shouldn't just let Charizard get KO'd and power up some other critters, because Charizard is just taking forever. <laughs> uh, well, let's energy removal that Itmon Lee, just getting ahead of things here. Let's go and... Power up Hitmonchan, because Hitmonchan is a bruiser in on itself, so... I think I'm gonna still win this game anyway, it's just... Dumb mistakes on my end, I swear. <laughs> Alright, not chop. Alright, oh, bench is full. Another dumb mistake! Uh, keep the bench open for in order to fight a Pokemon. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? I'm jumping the gun, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Call it a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting overconfident, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I gotta be focused 100% at a time for my victory. Or canine. I do have a growl to whip out a little, a little later on. But, eh. I'm lacking in the energies again. Should I, sh should I s Oh! Why don't I try this? Gust of Wind over to Chansey. <laughs> because it's, uh, it, it, yeah, it's got a lot of HP, but it doesn't really do much, and has, also it has a lot of energy cards. So, uh, actually, I should do this, too, in case Rat Rattata gets swapped in. Forgot about that. Another mistake in my play. Alright, so now I'm thinking things through again. We're playing like a pro again. <laughs> Alright, so he didn't retreat. I was, I was actually part expecting the re possible retreat, but okay. Alright. You go ahead and scrunch if you like to. There you go, I'm not attacking anyway. <laughs> I'm just kind of waiting to power some stuff up. And hello, Bill. Energy cards, please. Thank you. Oh, another Bill. <laughs> one energy, one Bill. Another energy, Machoke. Okay. Hitmonchan is a go, and we are leaving the Charizard for show. <laughs> Unfortunately, that confusion just really messed me up, but I don't really have that sort of healing power at this moment in time, so... Eh. Well, if he sc um, I mean, if he double edges, it's not going to make much of a difference, so... I wonder if I should just pop out Stalling Magmar. I could! You know, um, because Charizard is confused anyway, and I'm not attacking with it anyway, I could attempt to retreat and just discard these and try and go for Stall Magmar, because at least I can nick away with Poison and, uh, and... Uh, uh, no, 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 I didn't mean to! Okay, there. <laughs> I was gonna say, because then I could just nick away with stuff like Poison in the future. As for right now, I'll just smoke screen because it can prevent Scrunch. Uh, but Scrunch will not prevent any sort of poison damage, so poison will be definitely something I'll be going for. Uh, other than, you know, actually using the Hitmon Chan to do double damage to that Chansey, but, but, well, kinda, I'm kinda just 
waiting out to get a better setup, you know? <laughs> if that makes sense. Alright, there we go. So, with that smoke screen, he's got to get two heads in order to pull off the powers of the scrunch, so... Yeah, works in my favor. Now, the rolling kick could be a problem. That's why I was energy removing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, we'll see. I think we'll be okay. We're still in good position, I would say. And we're gonna put that on Radicate. Because it's got quite nice utility in that regard. Allow it to have one more rolling kick attack done to it. And done. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, I just noticed I only got 12 cards left in my deck from all the stalling. Jeez. This part's also going on for way too long. Maybe I really should power up my regular deck to... Like, with, like put everything in one ultra-powerful deck, basically. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just go smokescreen and hope for the best. <laughs> Save the fighting energy. For the future. Actually, I could repower up the Charizard now for another... Because, you know, it's the, it doesn't have confusion anymore for the energy burn. But that would take four turns. And I don't think we have that many turns. When we got three prize cards. And yeah, the attack... Oh, 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 okay. We got something here. We got something here. Uh, we're gonna go. Energy retrieval by discarding Rattata. Grab some fires. Plop that, fires, and smog. Come on, poison. Come on, poison. Oh. I was hoping for the poison because at the end of his, of his turn, if he doesn't swap out Hitmonlee, it would be an automatic KO, but... That would, you know, that would have accelerated the turns a little bit. But, oh well. That's how things roll sometimes when you're using the coin flips. No paralysis. And... Magmar gets the KO. Well, Magmar gets KO, not gets the KO. But I have Hitmonchan waiting in the wings. But I've also got Machop waiting in the wings. Which I can use in the future. And I will special punch that card into oblivion. Hopefully we can finish this game off quick. Because we're, we're running low on cards. Just nine turns left here. A lot more stalling than I was expecting this game. And poison attacks. Hits, of course, so that means it'll do 20 and then 30, technically, at the end of my turn. But we'll see how things roll as I continue to... Oh, shoot, I did it again. <laughs> as I continue... Oh, uh, that's right, I should be arcanining as well. Anyway, special punch for now. Tenacruel cannot knock out my Hitmonchan, although he might do some surprise attack and switch out into something that can... Like, maybe Double Edge with Chansey? Would he really want to- Would you really- You really want to do that? You really? I- Chansey's such a good stall for you, though. You could run me out of cards. <laughs> Alright, so... Then I do Machop. <laughs> which does not work in his favor, either. Because Double Damage, Low Kick. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go... Put that on the Growlithe. And we're gonna... Hope we get another energy card for our canine, but in the meantime, let's just put the pressure on his prize cards. Well, my prize cards. Another Machop, okay. Oh, my Ma Yitmonchan. <laughs> That's a problem! Oh, shoot! Oh, Gust of Wind. Oh, that's actually a brilliant move, <laughs> if you think about it. Uh, I, thought, I thought I was going to actually give it another energy card to... Yeah, he didn't. Okay. Um... I don't want to put all my cards in one basket, but if I get another energy card of any kind, I can then use Takedown and automatically win. <laughs> uh, actually, wait! If I attack with Bite, because yeah, the S Raticate has the same Bite, it will uh, put it into range of Arcanine's Flamethrower, and then I win anyway, so I don't even need another... Energy card. <laughs> Woo! That's using the noodle for once in this game! <laughs> yeah! We win! Fighting energy. <laughs> Alright, I really need more draw cards in my main deck. That'll do!
That'll do. As expected, the cards I get gathered weren't quite enough. Well, I guess it was inevitable. Here, this card is now yours. Super Energy Retrieval! Woo! That might be handy to add to my main deck. Trade two cards in your hand for four basic energy cards. Like, if I'm gonna end up lacking energy, I might as well, anyways. <laughs> I need to collect more cards. Anyway, if I dig up any new intel about Team GR, I'll let you know. Okay. Alright, this part has gone on long enough, I've got to say. So I'm saving my game. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I explore more of the clubs around the land.